Hello YouTube. This is Lachlan T. 1984 from Melbourne, Australia. And today I'm going to do a brief review of something I got for Christmas last year. This is the iPod Shuffle, of course. Now, there's a bit of a story behind this. I listen to a lot of audio books. I have a vision impairment. I can see a little bit, but I'm considered legally blind. I love to read books, especially detective and mystery books, and I prefer to listen to audio books, so books that are being read by a narrator, basically. This is the machine I would normally use for listening to my audio books. This MP3 player is designed specifically for somebody who's blind, or who has dyslexia, so as you can see there's no screen. Everything talks, so all the menus speak. It tells you the name of the file you're currently listening to and all that sort of thing. And I generally would use this for listening to music and for listening to books. Just before Christmas, one of my relatives said they wanted to buy me an audiobook on CD for Christmas from the ABC shop. ABC is the government radio and television broadcaster here in Australia, but they also have retail outlets where they sell books and CDs and things like that. I don't know what book my relative wanted to buy me, but she said the book was worth about $60. And eventually I just said to her, if you're going to spend that much money on me for purchasing an audio book, it might be just as easy for you to buy me an iPod Shuffle because they're only $50. And if you buy me an iPod Shuffle, I can buy whatever books I want from iTunes and listen to them on that. And then, at Christmas time, my Chris Kringle said that she would buy me an iPod Shuffle. And so, this is the iPod Shuffle, Shuffle she bought me. The iPod Shuffle only comes with 2 gigabytes of memory. And this, as you can see, is the green one. I mean, look at how, look at how tiny this thing is compared to my other MP3 player, my Victory to Stream. Look at how small it is. It's tiny. It's absolutely minuscule. Of course, I can listen to audio books on my iPhone, but I thought the iPod Shuffle would probably perhaps be a little bit better as an audio book player for me because it only does the one thing. It plays music or audio books. It, uh, if I was using this for playing audio books, I would not be distracted by looking up things on the internet and checking Facebook notifications and what have you on the phone. I've already used this for listening to a couple of audio books. I bought the biography of Steve Jobs from Audible and I listened to that on here and this actually did quite a, quite a reasonable job at playing audio books. Of course with audio books purchased from iTunes you do have to pay for them. They're not free. And I'm not when I use this player, I normally get books sent to me on CD from the Association for the Blind here in Australia, which is actually Vision Australia. That's the blindness support organisation. They send me books on CD or I can download books from their website for free, but of course it's a lending library so the books aren't mine to keep. I have to eventually return the CDs or delete the books from my computer. But of course I purchase books from Audible to listen to on the iPod and I can keep those books. I bought the biography of Steve Jobs as I say the other week and I enjoyed listening to it. It's a very long book and what's important about listening to audio books on a device like this is that the device must remember your position in the book when you stop listening to it. And so, when I turn the iPod off, it remembers my position, so when I turn it back on, it resumes playing back the book. The other thing I like about the iPod Shuffle is if you press the button on the top here, next to the switch, the iPod will tell you the name of the currently playing book, or the name of the currently playing song. And you can also press and hold the button to get access to your playlist, if you have more than one playlist on here. I have an audio book on here currently, I also have some music, so let me try and turn the iPod on. 
I left my hair long and curly, letting it partially fall across my face. And I wore a scoop-necked red sweater, hoping to focus attention on my cleavage and not on my nose. And as you can see, that's an audiobook that I'm listening to. It's the latest book by Jeanette Ivanovich. It's called Take Down 20. If I press the voiceover button on the top of the iPod here... Take Down 20, unabridged. Janet Ivanovich. Yep, yeah, and you can hear it announced. The name of the book. I went to my living room window and looked out at the parking lot. The little black Honda CRV was waiting for me. It had all its wheels and side mirrors. If I press this button at the top here, that turns the volume up. If I press the one at the bottom, it turns the volume down, of course. Ranger had obviously rescued it before the chop shop went to work. First stop of the day was the office. Connie gasped when I walked in. If I press the previous and next track buttons when listening to an audio book, I can jump between chapters. And Lula leaned in for a close... Chapter 22. Chapter 23. Chapter 24. Chapter 25. Lula's phone rang just as we reached the Firebird. It was Connie. She wants me to bring food, Lula said, plugging the key into the ignition. Chapter 26. Chapter 27. Lula and I stood behind a barricade at 15th and Freeman that had been set up to keep you... I do have music on here as well, so if I press and hold the voiceover button... Take down 20, unabridged. All songs. That allows you to select books or playlists or the all songs playlist, which will play everything that's on the iPod. I have to press it again. Take down 20, all songs. Take down now 20, I can, on a bridge. I can use the all songs. left and right buttons to... Little production. This audio program is presented by Audible.com. Audible. Audio that speaks to you wherever you are. I can use the... This audio... Oh, do be quiet. I can use the left and right buttons to select a playlist or a book. But... You have to do it quickly or else it closes the list and dumps you into the currently selected item. Take down 20, all songs. I press play to select that and now it's playing my music. Telecommunication, a flock of seagulls. And as you hear if I press the button. Telecommunication, a flock of seagulls. It tells me the name of the currently playing song. If I press the button twice quickly. Battery full. It tells me the current level of the battery charge. Eye in the Sky, the Alan Parsons Project. New Ice Age, Alpine Stars. Think I'm going for a walk now. Untouchable Face, Annie DeFranco. Something, Artful Dodger. Into here. Something. Artful Dodger. The volume decreases slightly when you press the button because it will turn the volume down so you can clearly hear it speaking over the music. Rush you, baby animals. And of course, being an iPod shuffle, you can play the music in shuffle mode. And to do that, you slide the little switch on the top here. It has three positions. You've got off, playlist, and shuffle. So if I slide it to the shuffle position, you hear the little noise that it makes. Golden Brown, The Stranglers. Yep. And there is, next to the headphone jack, there a little light, which just tells you what it's doing. What's really good is that if you've got songs in different languages, for, um, iTunes detects what language the name of the song is in and it will use the appropriate text-to-speech language voice 
to announce the name of the song. So if I press the, oops, if I press the voiceover button there, it's more fun to compute craft work. Oh, okay. Well, the name of that song is in English, but I have a number of Kraftwerk songs on here that are in German. The names are in German, and so it will use a German text-to-speech voice. Let me see if I can find one. I'll take it off shuffle mode. Here we go. Yep. Is it Madison, the knife? Ah, oh, okay. Tour de France at 8 2. Craft work. Ah, oh, okay. Well, that's actually. Should have been spoken in French, but that doesn't matter. Autobahn craft work. Confide in me, Kylie Minogue. Okay. I do believe there are a couple of other Kraftwerk songs on here that I did hear playing in shuffle mode the other day, but they don't seem to be playing in the regular playlist mode. I don't quite know why. I do have the Autobahn album, and though you heard the live version of Autobahn there, I think something from the studio Autobahn album did get copied over here. I use the autofill mode in iTunes to copy music to the iPod, so iTunes will decide what to copy and what, what, what not to copy, basically. Shoot you down, the stone roses. It's a lot. 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 It's a master and servant. Edit. Depeche mode. Okay, I don't think I knew that was on there. Oh well. So, yeah, I have quite a lot of music on here. I have quite a wide, tasty music, and the iPod Shuffle, for what it is, it's actually very good. I really enjoy my iPod Shuffle. Of course, it doesn't give me the kind of flexibility that, say, the iPhone gives me when I'm listening to music, but that's okay. Because the iPod Shuffle is quite a basic player, and of course it's much cheaper than things like the iPod Nano or the iPod Touch, or the iPod Classic. But it does what I wanted to do, and if I was to listen to, use it solely for listening to books purchased from Audible, I think it would do just fine. Of course, there are, even when listening to audiobooks, there are some things the iPod Shuffle can't do, like you can't change the playback speed of an audiobook, and you can't find out from the iPod how much time has elapsed and how long the book is. I can do those things on the iPhone. So, do I recommend the iPod Shuffle? Yes, if you just have some very basic listening needs or you want a device that's not as complicated as the iPhone or other iPods, I would certainly recommend it. And they're fairly cheap as well. They don't come with very many accessories, all you get is the USB cable and a set of stereo earphones. The USB cable, by the way, plugs into the headphone output. So, you get a little tiny cable that plugs into the headphone apple and terminates in a USB lead. But as you can see, I had it connected to a pair of very cheap and inexpensive and arguably not very good multimedia speakers. Old computer speakers that I had lying around. So, that's the iPod Shuffle. I certainly recommend it and I'm very happy that I now have one. Thanks for watching. Bye.